But it was a very somber moment here at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland. But, you know, it was a half a day for the students who did show up, and that's because they weren't talking about classwork. They were talking about service work and helping others. February 14, 2019 was about healing at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. You know, today was a very emotional day. I came here, you know, I was, was in tears, but um, now that I see all the support around us, it's pretty beautiful in its own way. Well, I didn't step onto campus today because I don't feel, I don't want to be on campus today. Uh, this is pretty much as close as I'm getting. Some wounds here are still fresh. My whole life's changed. I don't, like, I just feel like I can't go out that much. Like, my, I have PTSD now. Like, everything's just changed. Like, I can't go to the movies, I can't go to the malls. Like, my anxiety just comes out. Like, I didn't have this before. But after the shooting, like I knew everything was going to change for me. Linda Beagle Schulman lost her son, Scott Beagle. The geography teacher and cross country coach was shot and killed after unlocking his door and letting students in to hide from the gunman. I walked down the path today and it was just like reliving last year when we walked down the path. This has to stop. Thursday marks one year since that gunman walked on campus and shot and killed Beagle and 16 other people. Instead of classwork, students who decided to come to school Thursday participated in a day of service, giving them more time to heal. When I come here, it just it feels like like a like a just feels like fresh air when you walk in, just seeing everybody and just wanting to have positive vibes every now and then, you know. Lots of different emotions, uh, reactions from students here today. And Scott Beagle's mom says she's not going to mourn her son today and said she's going to remember his life and the 16 others who were taken too soon.